This morning we're going to talk about the stage system on Flowbot. Um, this is useful for managing your workflow. So that means uh, when you initially take the inquiry from a customer right through to sending an invoice, doing the job, uh, booking materials and eventually taking payment and closing that uh, particular order off. They go from stage 1 to 11 and there's a nice board here on the orders section which shows you uh, visually exactly what's going on with all of the orders in your business. It may be that you control these yourself or it might be that you uh, do certain sections so you might uh, be involved in taking the initial inquiry um, and then that's the end of your job which would mean that you sort of go out at stage three uh, booking an appointment perhaps it might be that you take it from stage three to stage uh, nine which is basically booking in the engineers field team members to do the job making sure that the job's done and making sure that the customer is happy and then at stage eight or stage nine handing that over to a bookkeeper or an accountant to send off the invoices and make sure they've been paid or as I said you might do the whole thing from from stage one to stage eleven uh, which means that you're doing everything but if there's multiple people involved it makes it a lot easier to see exactly what is going on visually and that's why we have the 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, 11 stages and that's why some of these are coloured red, yellow and you will see in some cases green and obviously just like traffic lights green is go, it's fine, don't worry about it too much amber is maybe I should start to think about doing something here so on this one for instance work appointments booked uh, and stage 8 with a red on it is uh, materials haven't been ordered uh, we'll go through these very quickly, they're very self-explanatory um, we'll take our test account so Robert Tester we'll click that which leads us to this page here and we can see that uh, we've got a scrolling a bit of scrolling here that tells us instantly what stage this is at and also you can see here so quote appointment booked explanatory, fairly self explanatory it means that we've booked a field engineer or a contractor to go out and meet the client whether that's for a quote or to actually do the job but an appointment has been booked and we can see back on here that that's at stage three and there are a few of those around and so there's nothing you really have to do at that stage you've just got to wait until your engineer comes back with some more information for you and we'll quickly go through what that information might be so uh, for awaiting completion of quote so your engineer has been out uh, they've prepared a quote or they should have prepared a quote but you're waiting to receive it so you might manually put this onto stage four so that you can see I've got to chase my engineer for the quote when that quote comes in you prepare it again you add your markup uh, margin and so on and so forth probably correct a few spelling mistakes and you send that off to the customer and that's a stage five it's quite important that stage because it means you've done something and now you haven't received any information back from the customer so you probably want to once a week schedule some time in to go and call all your customers for updates about what is happening with those particular quotations they take a lot of time and effort to do and obviously you want to know exactly what's going on with them um, so that's a stage five um, stage six quote accepted by customer this can be done manually or the system will do it automatically when your quote is issued by a customer as you probably know and you'll find on another video somewhere along on this site um, they can accept it electronically and if they accept it electronically the system moves it on to stage six and it will send you an email saying your quote has been accepted by a customer and that means you have to do something um, but if you ring them up and they say yeah I'd like to go ahead obviously you'll put that you know, you'll manually change that to quote accepted by customer just like that and when you go back to the order management screen you'll see now that this has changed to stage six if you roll over it says quote accepted by customer so we'll go back to our test account and just so that you know here if you go onto your order overview here and click edit order that's how you edit all the orders and change the stage that they're at on the workflow so stage seven deposit not received by customer you may not take a deposit um, but it might be that you're paying for some materials and you want 20, 30, 50% deposit so it's important to work out whether you've received that or not so there's a stage for that 7A deposit not received from customer so if I click that one and I'm expecting one it now turns red order stage 7A deposit not received and that tells me or someone else that um, 
there's a red flag there we need to go and speak to the customer and make sure we get our deposit before we start the job it may be that you don't need one or it's already been received in which case that would be 7b and that's going to change to green so I'm not too worried about that at the minute I don't have to panic Uh, we go on to the next stage which is uh, stage 8 work appointment book materials not ordered work appointment book materials ordered not required okay again quite important because if you're not managing the entire workflow um, it's important to have a visual cue that some materials need to be ordered and delivered to the site before the job can start otherwise there's going to be problems so that goes in red and again similarly work appointments booked materials are already ordered or not required so these are stages you probably want to alter manually and that's in yellow because it still means that you you got to make sure that you're going to get to the job uh, something needs to be done but it's not pressing to actually have the job to have the materials ordered or delivered to site um, so that moves us on to stage 9 um, or stage sorry 8c job in progress when all these things are taking uh, place you might want to put it on stage 8c and that means there's nothing that you can do at the minute uh, from an administration perspective or office perspective that job is being taken care of by the field engineers or the people project manager and you can sit pretty and rest on that one until it goes to the next stage which is this project is complete and I need to do something uh, which is usually send an invoice so the job complete awaiting invoice from contractor stage 9a okay this is where you might not be able to send an invoice to your client and before your contractor has told you how much to charge so that might be because they've done they had you don't know how many hours they took on the job and they they charge hourly and so on and so forth so you might put it at stage 9a for that stage 9b is I, I know how much to charge the contractor has told me or I don't need that information so I've prepared the invoice um, there's a whole section on preparing invoices so I won't go into it in this video um, and stage 9c you want to put that on there if you've got a query so you can see that there's another red flag either the customer's not happy with the invoice or the contractor isn't happy or someone's not happy somewhere so it needs dealing with which moves us on to 10. Uh, 10 uh, invoice sent direct to client awaiting payment or 10 invoice sent to accounting software awaiting payment so you'll find that if you have zero installed um, you might want to put it on stage B which means that you're not actually sending the invoices from Flowbot they're actually being sent from zero um, but it's important to know where at what stage they are so that that goes to a stage 10B um, but if you're using Flowbot you probably just want to send it straight out from the uh, invoicing module in Flowbot again there's a video on that on this site and finally you get to stage 11 where the jobs closed so that means everyone's happy uh, payment has been made um, if you get to stage 10 on here you'll see that uh, you can only close off and get to stage 11 if there's actually a naught amount in the balance so if there's less it won't let you allow won't allow you to go to stage 11 and close that job off until the money's in which is quite sensible the rest of the stages after that are basically for queries so quote rejected stage 12 so if your customer rejects the quote electronically it'll go straight to stage 12 if you reject it you can it will go to stage 12 that's done from the quote screen or from this edit screen uh, 13 14 15 16 you can see they're fairly self-explanatory but overall um, it's a pretty useful tool for giving you a good idea about what you need to do and what stage all of your jobs are that concludes the video